Now, when we talk about shot pocket, you don't typically want to release your shot from way up high here. And you also don't want to bring the ball backwards above your head on your shot. These are not good ways to shoot. Your shot pocket needs to be anywhere from right in front of your chin, like right here, or maybe slightly in front of your forehead. But if you look at all the great shooters, like the really, really good shooters, they're all kind of getting the ball right here in front of their face, chin, or forehead. And then they're going straight up into the shot, which leads us into the follow through angle of you don't want your follow through to be straight up. You don't want your follow through to be straight out. You want it to be somewhere in between whatever is comfortable for you. So it could be 45 degree angle somewhere right here. It could be slightly higher, um, but you want to be shooting the ball towards the rim. Another a coach that I uh, taught me how to shoot, he said, put your hand straight at the rim and then follow through. And then that's a good follow through angle. So you want that follow through angle to be 45 to 60 degrees. Now, release time. I would say if you're high school, college, or pro, when you're working out, you want to have a release time when you're working on your shot. You want it to be catch and up into your shot released in less than 0.9 seconds. If you can get 0.7 or 0.8 release time, that's really good. Now, if you're middle school, you know, 13, 14, or younger, if you can aim for a release time of 1 or 1.1 seconds or less, that's a good release time um, that you can kind of aim for because that's going to simulate how fast you need to get released or how fast you need to release your shot in games uh, roughly at those times. Now one more point on shooting is the backspin of the basketball. When you have good backspin on the basketball, so you can watch the ball here, you can see it's spinning backwards. It didn't spin sideways, it wasn't a curve ball, and it also wasn't a shot with no spin. If it has no spin or side spin, that's a sign that you have a bad release. But on a good release, what you're going to see is the shooter goes up, they flick their wrist, the ball comes off of either this middle finger or the two middle fingers here, and then the ball is going to rotate straight backwards. So as you're shooting, a good way to tell of your release point, if it's good or not, is if you have that good backspin on the basketball.